Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about deploying a Next.js application to a VPS using Coolify. So I've done some other videos on deploying Next.js to a VPS, but we were using Docker ourselves. So we were Dockerizing the Next.js app and then we were deploying that to a VPS. Now actually, we don't need to do that anymore because I think Coolify makes it much easier. And actually, thanks to tools like Coolify, self-hosting, I think, becomes a more realistic option. I will also show you how to set up a custom domain with HTTPS and also auto redeploy. Right? So if we make a change in our app, how can we automatically redeploy it to get the latest version in production on the VPS as well? Very easy, actually. So let's say we have some Next.js application. I have a very simple one here. And yeah, I can show you, but it's super easy, right? We just have the latest app router here. It's just uh, server components. Now I have one special page here, so we can go to the special page here. So here I have some typical Next.js features. So a client component, let's take a look. So in that page, I have some, uh, well, actually have a, well, actually it's a component. So I created a client component here and I'm actually fetching something from a route handler, right? That's uh, what we see here. So it's getting a message from a route handler and also, if I click here, we're going to get a message from a server action. So this simple app has the typical features of a Next.js application. Let's see if this still works in production on the VPS as well. So we're going to deploy this app to a server. So a server is basically, you can imagine, a box of electronics somewhere in a data center. So we're going to rent a server somewhere, but not the complete server. We're going to rent a so-called VPS, so basically a virtualized part of that server. This is going to be cheaper than renting the the whole box so we need to get a vps from somewhere and we're going to use today's sponsor hostinger for that now what i like about hostinger is that they actually have a coolify template out of the box but i will show you how to set up coolify without templates because maybe you're using a different setup but that's one of the reasons i think for picking hostinger for your vps hosting they are already familiar with Coolify. Now, if we scroll down a bit, you can see the resources that you're going to get. So Coolify does have some minimum hardware requirements. So CPU at least two, RAM at least two, storage at least 30. So CPU here two, RAM eight. So that's way beyond two. And then for uh, disk space, it's also way beyond 30. Now, it's not the exact same right for CPU, but Coolify does mention that it may still work properly on servers with lower specs, but they do recommend using at least uh, these requirements. So I'm going to go with KVM2. So I will pick this plan. So make sure you use the link in the description to get a good deal. And then you can also use my coupon code. So here you can enter the coupon code. Make sure it's uppercase byte grad. Right. So if you apply this, you will get an additional discount here to get a good price. All right. So after paying, they have a setup wizard here. Let me quickly walk you through it. So you can pick a location. It's actually a Lithuanian company. So that's probably why it's at the top. But you can pick some other location as well of course i will continue here all right so i will actually pick ubuntu now by the way what i like about hostinger is that they actually offer coolify as a template here as well i'll talk about it a bit later because you may be using a different setup it means that they understand what we're doing here we're not doing something weird right so if we actually run into some issues um we don't have some strange setup it's actually something that they are familiar with all right so i will go with ubuntu uh, i will not install anything else for now here we need to add a password make sure you don't show it to anyone else i will delete this after recording i will just copy this and paste this somewhere so i can use it later i'll just put it here for now and then i will continue all right so so now it's going to set up my VPS. All right, so then it's finished. Let's take a look. All right, so now we have a VPS and they give us an IP. This is the address that we can use to go to our application. But right now, of course, there is nothing there yet. We haven't deployed any website to this VPS yet. So we need to access this VPS. So I have opened up my terminal app here on my MacBook. If you're on Windows, you may have PowerShell, the command prompt. You can also stay in Visual Studio Code if you want. We have the terminal here as well. So here under SSH access, they show you here terminal, SSH root, and then it's actually that IP address. You can also type it out, but it will be something like this. All right, so the first time they may ask you about a fingerprint, I will say yes. And now the password is what we just added. So I will just copy that and paste that here. All right, so then we're in. Now we need to install Coolify. So Coolify here in their documentation, they have one script here. They have one script here that we should just run. So we can copy that and paste that right here. All right, so here it will start installing some things. Actually, it will install Docker. So it will actually do a lot of Docker things under the hood for us. Previously, we were doing that ourselves, but you'll see this is much easier than deploying like what we did before. Okay, Coolify is installed and we can access the panel here by using the IP address of the server and it's then port 
8,000. So if we just go there, all right, so this is important. You wanna set up your admin account as soon as possible you don't want to allow other users you don't want to allow other people to reach this before you because then they can create the root user all right so i just registered my root user now i can get started here all right so i have some general explanation here about coolify here let me actually show that to you okay let's get started okay so here what you could do is you could technically run coolify on this one vps that we have and then you could have your next.js app on some other uh, vps right some other server perhaps or maybe you're hosting a database on some other server as well so you could technically split up these services between different servers however we're going to do everything on one vps our next.js app as well as the coolify instance itself right so coolify is also an app you could say and this is also running on our vps so we're going to have this running so we'll have coolify on the vps as well as our next.js app on the vps so in that case we will pick a local host so let's go there we need to organize the things in projects so let's create our first project and our app is going to be a so-called resource it can also be something else by the way so we can also have a database we could also host a service on the vps but we are just doing a next.js app here okay i will accept this all right so here we need to set up a new resource basically this is going to be our app so it needs to get our app from somewhere we have some options here now the easiest is going to be with github so we're going to push our app first to github so i will create a new test here i will call it coolify vps i will actually make it a private repo and i will create the repository all right so now we need to push our next.js application to github so let me copy all of this and paste that right here okay now if i refresh we have our next test application here on github okay so now we can go to coolify we have a private repository now so let's click on that for private repositories it needs to create a so-called github app so our, basically a third-party app that gets access to some parts of our github account so let's do that um it's gonna give it a name i will just go with all the default settings okay so it has something about a webhook we will uh, just register okay so then i'm redirected here to github so github needs to know that i want to allow this okay so now i need to install repositories on github all right so now it's going to ask me repositories it should have access to i do like to be a little bit selective so i'm just going to select the repository that we created so coolify vps i'm going to install all right so we have a bunch of settings here but i'm just going to click save all right so now that github app should be set up so i'm going to go back to projects here here in the projects we have we can now create a resource i'm going to click on add a new resource so i'm going to try again private app all right so now here we can pick that github app yeah now we can finally pick the repository that we actually want to load onto the vps yeah so now you can see this repository main branch uh, it's using Nixpax and Next.js is listening on port 3000. It's not a static site. We have some server-side features. I'm going to click on continue here. All right, so here we get a bunch of settings here for our actual deployment. Now, I'm just going to leave everything by default. We're just going to click on deploy and it will actually try to deploy our Next.js app on that VPS. So now we just have to wait a little bit. All right, so you can see it's building a Docker image, right? So previously we were doing that ourselves, but that is done for us now. All right, so at some point it will be finished. So now how can we actually see our website well if we go to configuration here by default coolify will give you some domain it's not the prettiest domain name but it will do for now if we just copy this and try to go there it doesn't have https right now and you can see we have our next chance application running on this bit of a strange domain name we'll change that in a second to a custom domain name but it is running now on our vps and if we go to the special page here this seems to be working right hello from client component route handler is still working and the server action is also still working so all of the core next.js features are running on a vps now and you can, and i would say this is easier than what we did before where we dockerized a next.js app ourselves and then had to push it to some container registry and then pull it from that registry onto the vps it's easier but also you get a nice Nice UI here, nice dashboard here out of the box as well, which I really like. So we can customize all sorts of things. But I think what we want to do first here is actually change the domain name. So I need a domain name from somewhere. I'm actually going to use Hostinger to register my domain as well. Let's say I want bytegradcourses.com. I will search. It's available. So I'm going to order this. All right, I just ordered this domain name just for this video. So I think that's worth a like. All right, so now we want to go to our DNS servers here. So what we want to do here is set up an A record, basically the root of our domain, bytegradcourses.com, to the Hostinger's ip address right so now actually in the case of hosting or they actually already have an a record here so i will actually delete this one and i will just 
at this one as the only A record, okay? So now basically my domain name bytegradcourses.com is pointing to the IP address of the VPS. So now we need to go to Coolify here and we also need to set up here and we want to use HTTPS, right? So here I have bytegradcourses.com. Now about www, we may want to add it here as well. So I can edit bytegradcourses.com here as well by just using a comma and then www using HTTPS again. Coolify allows you to do to decide what you want to get when there's an incoming request using www i actually only want to use the non version by the way in my dns records there is automatically also a c name for www to the non version right so actually that should already take care of the problem so i will uh, set the direction actually i do need to copy this uh, url set the direction okay and I need to save as well here, by the way. So I need to click on save and it will actually give you a notification here that right now it will not work yet. You first need to redeploy. All right, so I will click on redeploy here. All right, so we're just going to wait until it's finished redeploying. And actually we can already see Next.js logging here. All right, so now it's updated. So now if I try using bytegradcourses.com, if I go there, I am on my VPS website. All right, so now I have a Next.js app on my Hostinger VPS with a custom domain also coming from Hostinger. The whole deployment process managed with Coolify. Everything here is still working, so pretty slick. And also, by the way, we're using HTTPS, right? So now this is pretty good. Now can it get even better? And yes, it gets even better with Coolify because what if we make an update, right? So now let's say I make an update here and I want to have a bunch of exclamation marks here after uh, Next.js app here. So I made a change here locally. Now, how do we easily redeploy this well first of all what you could do is i could push to github and then i can manually trigger a redeploy so it will actually update that way as well but it's kind of annoying to log into a dashboard and then click on redeploy so there is an easier way with the webhook so if we go to our project here and then here under webhook we can give this url to github so here in github if i go to the repo to settings and then here under webhooks i'm going to add a webhook so this is the url where i need to paste that i will leave everything else the same just the default options i'm going to add the webhook right here so now when i push this update to github let's actually try it should automatically update right so i made a change here i'm just going to quickly push this to github git push origin main so it's going to push now now i find if i uh, refresh here it will actually show me that it actually was not successful the delivery but it actually works for me so i think there's something wrong there if i go to my coolify deployments you can see it actually just triggered a new deployment automatically so clearly that is working here right so you can see it's actually in progress again so we'll just wait and see if the update comes through all right so it was finished now if i go to the website again and i refresh here you can see the update is right here so this is a very easy way of redeploying as well and there are many other things we can do uh, we could set up a firewall and many other things as well but overall i think this is a really good deployment self-host experience right so definitely check out coolify what i like about hostinger is that they have a coolify vps template out of the box as well so they are already familiar with coolify so i think so they're already familiar with coolify so i think that's a major plus for hostinger when you set up the vps they actually have a coolify option here out of the box so i can actually change my os with the coolify setup template here out of the box so let, i will actually show you what we get out of the box here all right so now i have the coolify template here now all right so now i can use the ip address again and remember it's colon 8000 for the port and actually yes so then i can set up a root user again and everything would work the same pretty nice that hostinger offers it out of the box as well so i would say check out hostinger for sure you can find a link in the description thanks for watching this video hopefully it was helpful i'll see you the next one